Hello and welcome to Tuxedo Plants. Um, today is a gorgeous day out here. Um, the lighting is good. It's it's beautiful. I wanted to share a haul with you guys of a um, bunch of happy planner stuff. This is my wedding anniversary gift from my husband. Some of them I had it in my Amazon wish list, which he ordered, and um, some of them I picked it up from Joanne's when we both were there. I'm starting off with the planners. This is a clearance item which was only five dollars. An old, very old planner, fitness planner. This is 2019. I think it's 2018 to 19. It's a no 19 and 20 academic year. So what I did is I redated it and I started using it for my uh, health and wellness. Now, I do have other planners. Is this necessary? It, it's probably not. But the other one that I have, the Commit 30, I had only been writing a single um, line called hydration, and then I would highlight it in green if I took enough uh, bottles of water. And I didn't track much of my food there and my exercise. And um, it, it it is now, like, I've had so many appointments, and it's, uh, my health has gone haywire and i really need to be on top of my health stuff so i thought this would be a good um, use of um, this old planner um, so that i can log my food um, the, the uh, focus is just hydration i see myself not having enough water and that's a huge problem and not enough fruits and veggies uh, veggies are okay but not you know fruits and raw stuff so most of the veggies i do i do cook them so um i'm not hitting the mark in my raw food goals um, as much and you see it's still a fail until now but at least i have started to track it which means i'll take corrective action on it so this is what this planner is but before i go on i have to say i'm not a happy planner user I tried it in 2021 as a work planner, a vertical, and it actually did work out for me. And But because of some personal tragedies, I had to let go of planning as such that year, and I stopped planning entirely. And then what I did was in 2021, I started to try converting this to a gratitude, pro um, gratitude planner. And um, some of the things that the faith and gratitude, um, I don't know why. It's just, in, I, I don't know if it's because of the horizontal. Um, it seems that I have made some entries, but not so much. And I feel that it's such a waste because it's a good planner and I love happy planner paper. Um, I think it's the disc that I'm not probably a fan of disc, but I, I fall in and out of um you know disc bound planners so this is the this uh, had other inserts the vertical inserts which i gutted them out and i turned them into gratitude and faith planner which did not work out in 2022 i abandoned this um i'm wanting to use it as gratitude again let's see how that works out that's an old planner by the way in this haul this is the fitness planner i got and then this is a disney villains um I just took that thing apart. Undated planner. Do I need another planner? Absolutely not. And this is a dashboard um, view. And this is undated, so I could use it when I want to. I'm not uh, so much a Disney character fan. I like Mickey, and that's about that. But I don't know what just attracted me towards this. I just love this. This kind of wording and the Disney villain that they choose. I think they there's something about this Disney villain and the um and the choice of words or whatever. I, I felt that this is really quirky and and wonderful. So I bought this planner. Um this is up to debate. Like I think my daughter would want it. Uh, I'm very happy to give it to her for the, her next academic year if she wants to use it. The rest of them are sticker books. This is a super mom sticker book. 
which is one of my favorites out of this whole bunch and uh, on the left hand side these are the books that you can open this way um, a huge um, list pad coffee pad today no post-it notes these are all small sticky notes which I love and I've already started to use these um, I no longer have a job my contract just ended yesterday so um, I'll do much more of mom work than other work I mean mom work is mom work it's all always there uh, I think I'll have what I meant to say is good use of this book is what I'm saying uh, I'll have enough time to plan properly and use these and enjoy these so that's this and the next one is spoonful of faith um, this is a wonderful um, look at this this is oh my god it's just beautiful there is um, verses from Psalm. Um, there's so much in here. I'm not a Christian. I belong to another religion. But I love Bible verses. Um, what's not there to love Bible, right? So Bible verses and all these stickers. That would complement my faith and um, spiritual practices. Journaling. This is definitely going to complement my notes and um, other faith related um, things that I have gone okay this is tropical boho this um, is my favorite also because if something is really bright with a lot of birds leaves and flowers I like it look at this find your wild um, look at all the birds I've started using this ferns and um, the cheetah print and this is a wonderful sticker book very different very nice and the colors are just to die for you it's just beautiful so that's that the next one is a daydreamer collection um so let's see this is one other book that can open up this way there's a huge pad and then some post-it notes um, sticky notes not post-it notes sticky notes and this is full of pastel colored flowers and encouraging words this is beautiful actually if you can see with the foil and let's brunch hello weekend so many coffees I think doctor appointments are there butterflies I think I don't have payday if I'm not mistaken um, that's okay so so there are many that uh, would get a good use. I would get a good use out of this. This is the Daydreamer collection. And the next one is the Hustle and Heart. The, this green just called out to me. Um, look at this, guys. Even though I'm not a happy planner user, I've been a happy planner sticker user for a very long time. I always find the sticker books very useful. And I um, use them in my journals, my planners. They are so different. They're very colorful. And I think they came out with some, with some neutral ones too. But I'm not a neutral girl. I want bright colors on my planners and journals. I am all about bright because um, that cheers me up. And anything that's just a little muted just um, depresses me. I'm not a neutral person at all. So Happy Planner caters to both um, you know, neutral and functional planners and decorative planners like me. And the next thing I got was this rainbow extender um, discs. The plan for this is that the mini planner, the fitness planner I've got, I'm going to Franken plan it with some other stuff. Um, I'm going to see how that goes. My idea is to bring in um, faith, uh, my health and meditation all in together in one mini planner and um, try to track it that way I, I think um, I'm going to enjoy the process of making that franken planning thing so this is my second attempt at trying to use happy planner my daughter loves happy planners she fully used hers um, I'm not so much um, a happy planner user but the stickers I love um, hope you enjoyed this haul and I'll meet you with one more very soon uh, thank you and bye bye